Scott might be, but uh, James also is, everybody. We're looking at the most enormous grouping of what Stefan Winterboer has just described as meat on the hoof. Absolutely, I think they're going to go straight in here. This is the main north crossing. And we just need to decide now whether we're going to start our Facebook broadcast as well. And you know what? We just have to wait until the first one puts its little toe in. And then we will go for it. So quite an astonishing group of wildebeest here. Look at this. This is the biggest herd we've seen gathering at this crossing so far this year. Oh, wow, everybody. The migration has arrived. In the north they're in. Let's go. Let's go live. This is fantastic. Good grief. Look at them streaming down. One of them being washed away. Some of them will drown. Some of them will be caught by crocodiles. Quite harrowing. whether to tell whether a crocodile is excited, angry, happy or sad. It's almost impossible. Let's just go across this massive line of animals. Heading down, there are the zebra deciding to have a drink precisely where the wildebeest thought that this was too dangerous to try and cross earlier on. And just to also let you know that around about this time last week, there was an amazing sighting, in fact it was exactly this time last week, that Steph had and Scott had of wildebeest that had drowned and were floating down the river, thousands of them. So you can see that perhaps they are, well, once bitten, twice shy really. Oops, sorry about the speed of that. And they're being a bit more cautious about leaping into the water. They are affected by the water, they don't find it very easy. But this is what happens, you see, sorry, this leaping, leaping around. This is what happens. We get this huge gathering. This is by far the biggest one we've had so far. Will they cross? Well, I think, and then there, yeah, you see half of them turn around and go somewhere else. Now that can often then reverse again, and they'll come back towards this area. And sometimes they won't, sometimes they'll cross, and sometimes they just don't, and no one really knows why. And it's interesting, you know, I, I, I wonder also how much effect the presence of human beings has on these herds. They seem to be able to change or they seem to decide to change where they're going to go on a whim. It might be the clap of a hand, the loud voice of a human being, the moving of a vehicle or something like that. There they go, they're walking away now, some of them. They could easily turn on and come back. It does not mean by any stretch that this story is over. Look at them all. Get in the water. Go on. It's a conscious sort of psychological evaluation of what's going on in the water or whether it is um, just simply born of the fact that they oh we're losing our footing this doesn't feel right I don't know and you can be very sure that there will be lions around here and the paradise pride will be thinking oh look at this little smorgasbord that has come down here for us And see if we can't see where they're going. Signal difficulty, everybody. I'm sorry about that. Now you can see, can you see half of them now have turned around and they're moving away. They don't know why they're doing this. They have no clue. They have no conception of why. But there they go. Now this time last year, no, in fact, kind of thing and then they go off to another crossing and leap across so maybe they'll do that maybe they'll go across the dusty crossing they might go across the picnic crossing which is way down to the south camera there but Scott is in the field very close by and he might be able to get some sort of a picture of them 
if they don't cross here. And while we wait and see what's going to happen here, let's go across to Baron, who has got a very wise creature.